Okay, this is like the third time I've tried recording this. I'm about to just go into airplane mode so no one can text me because first Mark texted me and I was like, no, I'm in the middle of making a video. And then you text me and I was almost done explaining. So this one's not going to be half as long. Um, when I was 15, I met a girl and she was Mormon and I went to church because I was dating her. And I ended up dating her for, I want to say, it's three years, more like two and a half. I'm kind of rushing through this because I know someone else is about to text me. And um, when I was eight, I wrote this song. It's the only song I can sing. It's the only song I care to sing. And six months before, this girl I thought I was going to marry and have as my eternal maiden companion broke up with me, I sang her the song, and she's the only person who has ever heard it in its entirety for more than seven or eight words. And I can't sing at all, besides that song. And that's only because I wrote it specifically so I could sing it. And whether your voice is raspy or not, I think it sounds wonderful. And it melts my heart. And... Yeah. But... That's the only other person ever here. And... I don't know. At this point in time, I would... like to say... that maybe... I'll sing it to you one day, but, I mean, it's, it's a high probability. If things go as my heart hopes them to go, but the heart is a silly, silly organ that knows not what the way the world is. So, um, text me whenever you get this, if you get this. And I'm sorry I started making videos, but I am a socially weird guy. Alright, so I'm gonna send this and text me.